Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas being joined here with Jesse Vargas in Los Angeles. We're at the Garcia versus Rios press conference. Quite a surprise. Hey everyone, I'm Jesse Vargas yeah. here with Marcos Villegas <laughs> and we're here in Los Angeles at the Brandon Rios and Danny yeah, Garcia yeah. fight. You want to yeah. do the interview? No, I'm just trying. Yeah. I'm learning from you right yeah, now. I know, because you've been doing it a lot. Yeah, well, I've I'm, noticed that you and you do a good job, bro. Like honestly, you well, do been, a really good job. I've been learning from you, man. That's what it is. I'm looking at your tapes, man. I'm like, all right, this is how I got to do it. This is how Marcus Villegas would would do it, you know. So, no, you seriously, you're doing a good job. That's why I wore burgundy. burgundy? See, oh, yeah, I said I you want Marcos. We're matching a little bit. Gonna wear it today, but so I figured that I wear. It. That's box straw. That's a box shout out straw. to Steph right there, Steph Trap. That's right. I'm looking out for you. Box straw. <laughs> to Ben, my buddy Ben. You know, thank you for the gear. You know, look him up, y'all. Box straw. It's it's uh, yeah, very very good apparel. You're very comfortable and uh, stylish at the same time. Good uh, 2017 for you, bro. Got a good uh, little victory there in Lancaster. I can't complain. You know, it could be, it, it could always be better, but uh, we look at we look at it from a positive standpoint, and um, you know, we finally got back into the mix. You know, got a fight in there December 15th. Came out with the victory. Gave the fans a, a nice, a good night of entertainment. And now I'm ready for 2018, you know, to be even bigger and better, fighting, hopefully fighting for a world title. I want the WBC and WBA world title. That's what I'm pursuing. So I hope that that's, you know, that's something that I'll be, you know, accomplishing soon. Before we get to that, I want to make a comment. In this fight, you looked a lot smarter and a lot more patient. It seemed that you, you looked a lot more complete in the fight. Uh, I know you switched trainers to uh, McCallum. That's correct. And uh, I think it worked out well for you. Thank you, thank you. Well, definitely, you know what? Experience helps uh, tremendously, you know, and being patient. I was always just so focused on trying to give the fans excitement that I say, you know what? There's not enough action. I got to throw punches. I got to do something. And sometimes I just fall into into a combination where they would expect me to come. You know, now I know exactly. It's just the experience came in, you know, coming from fights against uh, Manny Pacquiao and, and, and other big fights as well. You learn, you know, a lot from them and, and uh, you know, sometimes you don't come out with the victory, sometimes you do. You always want to. You know, they were all competitive matchups, but um, in those fights, we, you know, we learned tremendously. And you saw it in December 15th, how much more matured I seemed. I seemed more patient. I was just picking my shots. I knew exactly when and where to pick my opponent apart. And that was a key, key role. And that's, that's what's going to happen from now on, just me knowing when to pick my shots and how to take out my opponents. That's something that a lot of these fighters in the World Division, um, well, I can't say a lot of them, you know, but I'd say that, you know, I have the a advantage of, of gaining that knowledge and experience throughout the years. All right, folks, part two of uh, this interview with Jesse Vargas. We had to get out of the uh, conga room. Uh, Jesse, you know, like you mentioned, uh, you're going into the fight. So you talked about the trainer change, but you also made a promoter change. Went from a uh, top rank now over to uh, the Heyman side. What was the main motivation for that and uh, the reasoning for it? Well, I um, I have had experiences with, with uh, Al Heyman in the past, and I always enjoyed the way he the way he did business, the way he worked with his fighters, and, and that's the reason why I'm back here. You know, now I have Walupa Valencia, Al Heyman on my side, and I'm very happy to have them guiding my career. I trust them 100%, and, and I'm looking forward to a, a big 2018. A lot more fights for you as yes. opposed to top rank. So I know that was a big factor uh, for you as well. A lot of talk now with Thurman. Yeah. He seems to want the fight. You've said, hey, I'll, I'll take the fight. So is that going to happen next? How likely is that? I like the fight, man. I, I, I told Guadalupe Valencia, my, one of my advisors, and, and now Jaime, you know, I did express my interest in that fight. They know I'm interested. But um, ultimately, it's up to them for them to make the fight. We'll see if the fight can be made. I do know that, uh, that Keith Thurman wants to come back, you know, March or April. I am looking forward to coming back March or April. You know, with that being said, you know, we're looking forward to coming back just around the same time of the year. And for that reason, I see why it would make sense, you know, um, so but we'll find out soon. You know, if my advisors um, give it an OK and, and Thurman wants it as well, then we'll make it happen. But uh, the fans have to they're going to have to wait for confirmation. I know that they're interested. I know that there's been rumors and that they've been talking about it through social media, but nothing has been confirmed yet. No serious negotiations have begun. But but it is a possibility, that's for sure. Not a lot of people go out and call Keith Thurman. A lot of people say that he's just way too dangerous to fight, and you're going out there and being like, hey, bro, let's make this fight happen. Why, when so many people don't want to take that fight? 
I don't see why they don't, why they wouldn't want to take the fight. You know, I'm just not that type of fighter. He has the WBC belt, the WBA belt, and that's all I see. You know, I know that he's a very good fighter himself, um, but I'm a fantastic fighter myself. You know, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I know that I could defend myself, and I feel very confident that I could come out with the victory and become the new WBA and WBC world champion. The two belts that mean a lot to me, and I'm willing to do anything for in order for me to to gain those two titles. Uh, and that's the reason why I'm pushing forward, you know, in order to, to be the best, you have to beat the best. And, you know, I, I've gained a lot of experience through my past, um, you know, through, through, through the years. But now I feel that it's, it's the best time for me. You know, I'm in my prime and, and I'm very knowledgeable. I feel very comfortable as a, as a, as a veteran, as a fighter, as a two-time world champion that I know what I'm doing. And I know exactly how to beat Keith Thurman. How do you do that? How do you exactly do you beat Keith Thurman? You feel? You know what? You just gotta you gotta be smart. You know, you gotta be smarter in him, and um, you gotta know his weaknesses. You know, and and that's that's what I've been focusing on, and I truly believe that I, I can beat him, and I will beat him if the fight is made. Now, perceived weakness is the body. So I'm get hurt with Colazzo. Danny tried to target a lot. He, he's been said to be a fighter. What fans have said uh, that doesn't like can work to the body. Have you seen that? And do you feel that is true? I think that it, uh, there's not a fighter in the world that doesn't, that likes being hit to the body, you know. So, um, you know, it just depends. Um, it depends who it's coming from. Um, keep in mind that in order to hit the body, you need to be in shorter distance. So that has something to do. Um, you know, he, I know that Soto Caras hurt him in the chin. And Soto Caras is a good fighter, but he's not known as a knockout puncher. But he hurt him, he stunned him. Robert Guerrero stunned him too. I saw that as well. Um, but you know, when it comes to his weaknesses, I mean, he's a he's a very good fighter. I take nothing away from him, you know. But every fighter has has his weaknesses, you know. And um, uh, it's just a, it's just gonna have to be me to be the one to um, show everyone the weaknesses that he has, I guess. You got something up your sleeve, huh? Let's like, see when it comes to that fight. Yeah, <laughs> I, could I, I, I could see something, you know, but um, once again, you know, we come to give the fans excitement. I know he he's not here to duck anyone. Well, at least I hope he, he's not. Um, I don't see him as that fighter. Um, I see him just as a, as a fighter that's, that's willing to fight anyone. And I'm the same way. And for that reason, I think that the fight can't be made. If not Keith, we have Danny and uh, Rios fighting here. Uh, that's why we're here in Los Angeles. Is that a, a, another one, or it's doesn't matter? All the top guys you want to go after, even Spence, all those guys are on the list for you. All the guys are on the list for me. I mean, there's not one fighter that there's not one fighter that I would say, oh, I don't want to fight him. You know, that's just not my style, especially now that I'm so comfortable with who I am and how I fight, and you know, the team that I have. Mike McCullen is a great trainer. Um, I just, I just. I feel very comfortable. I, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm very conscious about what's going on in the ring as of before where I would just want to give the fans excitement and sometimes I just, you know, I'd rush into combinations just to kind of, you know, just because there was a, a moment of silence. But what they want to see now, I've noticed, is boxing has changed. Before it was a time of Holyfield versus Bo, all-out war. There was... Uh, you know, like the Vargas versus Salido fight. Uh, how many viewers did they have? And that was fight of the year. You know, they want to see more technique. They want to see ring smarts. They want to see a fighter take control. And ever since I saw that, I said, you know what? Let's give the fans what they want to see. If they want to see this type of st style, then let's give it to them. And that's that's um, what I'm doing now. All right, Jesse. That noise is kind of oh, freaking me out, right? It's all for the fans. <laughs> but right now it's raining. Yeah, it's, it's raining really hard. You guys can't see, like, off camera. But that's the weird noise that you're hearing. So, uh, hey, safe uh, drive over to the airport, and it was great seeing you. Thank Happy you. New Year. Stay safe, right? Appreciate it. Jesse Vargas, yeah. looking for a big 2018. And I just want to say uh, happy 2018 to all you guys watching us over here at Fight Up TV.